Let us see a large data center topology setup running on Camphor Networks platform under AWS. Let us look at overview of all projects at cluster level. Take a look at auto-generated topology view of the data center. This data center is built with 8 pods. Each pod has 8 servers running Linux OS. Each pod is connected to two leaf switches and connected as bond interface using LACP protocol. Each leaf is connected to one spine Juno's MX device and spines are daisy chained. This ensures full connectivity in the cluster using minimum interfaces to reduce ports consumption. Let us take a look list of all devices configured in this network topology of typical data center. Notice how easily so many devices are easily managed in here at Camphor Networks platform. Have a look at cluster resources which has just one project at this time. All these are managed via 168 Docker containers via many K8 pods and services seamlessly. Among so many resources automatically managed, notice 100 VMs and 146 network connections. Let us access one of the spines directly from the network topology. You can get to device CLI by SSH into localhost, 0. RSA key-based auto-authentication is already set up. This Spine 1 device is running Juno's VMX software-based VNF. Let us look at underlay and overlay BGP peering sessions in this simulated data center. Wow! All BGP sessions are established demonstrating the power of Camphor Networks platform. Let us have a look at one of the leaf switches pod 1 leaf 2 accessing it directly from the topology. Get into device CLI by simply SSH to localhost. Notice that leaf is running Juno's VQFX VNF software. BGP sessions with spine are also in established state indicating flawless network connectivity. Notice that all aggregated interfaces are also reported as up indicating seamless LACP in underlay. Many IRB interfaces have also been created to demonstrate the capability of eVPN with VQFX platform. Let us have a look inside one of the PODs server virtual machine. By getting into the shell of pod 1 server 3 Linux machine. Bond interfaces have been created to run LACP with the two connected leaf switches. Port status is up as well indicating bidirectional LACP packets flow among the server and two leaves. Many network namespaces have also been created in order to inject eVPN MAC routes into the network. Take a look at the entire project configuration by clicking on the project. This is quite a large and complex network topology with large configuration indeed as seen under project. Let us take a look at the underlying Kubernetes cluster hosting this entire data center network. Cluster really has just one node, in this case running on AWS. CPU and memory usage is reasonable and within bounds even though simulated topology is quite large. Take a look at some of the applications that are also instantiated inside in this project. Let us access Ubuntu session application using VNC. Use the same project password everywhere getting similar feel as single IAM based environment. Open a terminal here to see what is going on behind the scenes. We can directly sniff the packets in any of the links to understand and analyze the network. For this, simply use a simple wrapper provided called Netaz underscore Wireshark. Let us first find a device and interface to sniff packets. Choose Spine 1. In order to find interface, we can simply hover the mouse on the two sides. Notice that Spine 1 is connected to Pod 4 Leaf 2 using GE0, 0, 0 eighths interface. Pass Spine 1 as device using D and interface as IGE0, 0, 0 eighths. Wireshark application directly opens up showing BGP over TCP packets being exchanged. Please take a moment to comprehend the power of the Camphor Networks platform. In spite of one hundreds of entities are interconnected in a complex manner, direct access is provided instantly. Maybe you need a break. You can even play some games such as chess here. Good luck while playing against the mighty computer. Let us have a look in automatically created Jupyter Notebook of one of the spines. 
You can easily filter devices by name for easier lookup. Click on Spine 2 Notebook and access using the same project password. You can run direct Juno's CLI commands here as well and see output in HTM list form. All BGP sessions are established in Spine 2 as well. You can also type to get in line help of the CLI commands. Isn't this all very exciting? Why not express the same like you would do in social networking environments? Let us inject an excited emotion as after all data center is indeed running at scale in your own nest. In this demo, we saw multiple VNFs like VMX, VQFX and Linux instantiated. Servers multi-homing using LACP-based link aggregation. Flawless network connectivity among different elements as desired. Large-scale EVPN topology up and running. Ready integration with Ubuntu VNC and Jupyter Notebooks.